This just in from the second round of the NBA draft where the Utah Jazz with their second round pick, which is 32nd overall, takes Duke big man Kyle Filipowski with their selection here on Thursday. Over on CBSSports.com, by the way, we are giving you up to the second updates, including grades. And our guys on the dot-com side of things have given this an A-plus for the Utah Jazz. They also took Cody Williams last night, 10th overall. Tommy Tran, Mike O'Donnell, and Tim Doyle with you here. So, Mike, you were high on Kyle Filipowski here. What do you think about the fit? I'm surprised he even came out of the first round. I, I just assumed he was going to be a mid-first round guy. So getting him and in early in the second round is a huge win. You get a seven-foot center that shoots close to 40% from three. He can play pick and pop, pick and roll, decent shot blocker, very good rebounder, uh, over eight rebounds a game at Duke. Uh, this is a really good pick, Tim. I, I just feel like the whole draft for Utah, when you're talking Cody Williams, Isaiah Collier from USC fell to Utah. Now you get Kyle Filipowski early in the second round. It's a good draft by Utah. I think Kyle Filipowski is going to have a solid NBA career. I agree. Um, what does that mean? Frank Kaminsky was a solid player. And I see Frank Kaminsky vibes here. And I think if he really, you know, improves his strength as well as his perimeter shooting, which clearly he can make a shot. He shot 35% from college. As he gets older and he becomes a better shooter, I have Brad Miller vibes. And Brad made an all-star team. He was on Team USA. So my point is he's going to play between 6 and 10 years. He's going to make a lot of money. Should invest it smartly. I think the Jazz got a really solid player here. And they continue to try to make their way which is a, a uber tough western conference and so it's going to be tough sledding for them they're going to have to try to get one of these three guys to really pop you think right to even have a chance yeah i don't think of the three guys who do you think's the biggest one with the biggest upside that could is it collier like of their draft picks who's oh, the guy no, cody williams yeah cody williams has the highest ceiling i think kyle filipowski has the highest floor uh, where you're talking playing time right away between uh, cody williams and collier and filipowski that that's how i would rate that if you're we're going off of ceiling cody williams floor kyle filipowski and cody williams obviously his brother uh, got a chance to see him in college and thought he was going to be a really good player. Well, he's become better than that for OKC. He's going to be a borderline all-star now. So sometimes it's in the DNA that just takes a little bit later for guys to really come around. So, so far, so good for the Jazz. Just to button up that A-plus coming from our Kyle Boone, by the way. So I know you agree with him, A-plus. What grade would you give before we say goodbye here? A, I, it, what's an A-plus? The only thing that's A-plus, Tommy, is your hair. I don't know. I don't know if you dye it or what's going on. That's A-plus hair. I would give it an A. Thank you. Okay. Solid A all the way around. Guys, really appreciate it, and thank you for the compliment, Tim Doyle. Uh, for extended coverage of the draft grades, make sure to go to our CBS Sports page on YouTube. You can check it out there and catch up on anything that you might have missed already. A-plus, like what are we, in third grade? Minuses. How about just A's? I got to differentiate a little bit.